Hello everyone, this is Jasmina, and in this video I'm going to talk about the four noble subsectors. Now, these are special subsectors in your house, or your residence, I should say. And every year there are four subsectors that have special formations that can do a number of useful things. These locations change every year. Three of these subsectors of these four are helpful with problem solving. They can also be used to mitigate previous activations of annual afflictions and weaken any negative effects from that. But one subsector is also an excellent location for celebration. Now, this celebration will like renew your energy. You'll feel um, a lot happier about your life. Uh, it will increase your happiness level and level of fulfillment. You will realize that, yes, you have a lot in your life. You have a lot to be grateful for. And that helps you re-energize and move forward. Now, these subsectors in general are activated either with water or fire. And which one you choose depends on the subsector, basically the animal sign associated with the subsector. Uh, it, it's, um, uh, it'll be, you don't want to weaken the animal sign. Now, the three subsectors, uh, the three of the four nobles that are good for problem solving are the sun star, moon star, and dragon virtue. And they, they're good, um, and the dragon virtue is the best of the three. It is the strongest of the three. Now, this year, there'll be times, uh, dates and times to activate the dragon virtue subsector in this year, which is the wood dragon year. Uh, unfortunately, the star and the moon uh, have some issues, so it's safer not to activate those. The fortune virtue subsector, which is the one good for celebrations, this will make your celebrations joyous, even if you have problems. You, you will be able to forget your problems for that, that day. And that will help energize you so you can tackle your problems the next day. And again, there are special dates and times this year. And if you have to have a holiday, make up a holiday. I mean, I don't need a holiday to have a celebration. You know, um, you know it depends on how things are going. Now, the first and second of the nobleman subsectors, the sun and the moon star, uh, they have annual afflictions this particular year. And therefore, they're not safe to activate. Because if you activate them, you also activate the annual affliction. And even though these are supposed to tamp it down, it's not worth it. You can use these sectors for quiet problem solving, thinking, writing things down, searching on the web, that kind of thing. Um, but there will be better subsectors in your residence for this because you you don't necessarily need to use these locations because they have annual afflictions this particular year. And the, the subsectors that these two are in happen to be two of the three, uh, three killing subsectors. So, eh, and one is a pretty bad one. So really, it's not safe to activate these this year. The third noble subsector is the Dragon Virtue subsector, and it's located in Northwest 3 this year. Fortunately, this area does not have an annual affliction, and it can be activated, and we are going to choose water for this, and I'll explain why. The fourth subsector um, is the Fortune Virtue subsector, and it's located in Northeast 1. Here we're going to activate with fire, and I'll explain why when we get to those pages. Now, the location, the special dates, and the times vary from year to year. And the locations, dates, and times given here are only good for the wood dragon year. And I'm going to concentrate this particular 
video on just the Tiger Month, and I'll do this month by month. So the rules for determining the Sun Star, Moon Star, Dragon Virtue, and Fortune Virtue subsectors are available in English from quite a few sites, so that's not hard to find. However, the rules to do the activation, as far as I know, are only available in Chinese. But they are easy enough to follow if you can correctly translate. Now, you can use Google Translate, but if you can read the 10 elements, the 12 animal signs, and recognize the characters for day and hour, it's much clearer in Chinese, I mean, tremendously clearer in Chinese. So uh, it can be a garbled mess when Google Translate takes over. Now I use this particular website and I'm going to stick it down in the comment section. I think I can lock it. Uh, and this will, uh, this is how I understood the rules of timing. Now I've seen others give you dates and times and I've checked them and many times they're off. One thing that's quite clear in the Chinese language sites is that the hour, the, the heaven stem of the hour must be Yang Wood. The animal sign can change for the hour. The element and animal sign for the day can change. Um, but the animal sign for, for a given month will be constant. And, uh, but if they, you can look up the Batsa for the date and time that anybody states you should do an activation of one of these four nobles. If it is not a Yang Wood hour, you know, in the heaven stem, they're wrong. That is one very, very clear thing if you read the Chinese pages. Now, before you decide to activate any one of these four subsectors, of course, we're going to avoid the moon and the sun because of the annual affliction, uh, you also need to check the following. You want to look for untimely stars in, in the annual and monthly stars for certain. Uh, and you, typically you also have to check the stars in your residence's flying star chart and in the purple white chart. Now the, there I have, I mean, that you can get your flying star chart quite easily. And if it's an apartment building, it's for the entire building, not for what unit you're in, what it direction it faces, it's for the whole building. And I have other videos about that. Uh, the purple white chart changes every year, but the pattern tends to stay the same. Now residences with activated permanent Combo 10, Pearl String, Parent String, or Seven Star Robbery Formations. Don't have to worry about the Flying Star Chart because these activated permanent ones make all stars timely for all periods. You can also have an annual Combo 10, Pearl String, or Parent String. That is activated by time. The, uh, then you also don't have to worry about it for that one year, but it's only good for that one year. And uh, so, that is something you have to um, think about. Now, I have videos that can tell you all about this. If you just go to my channel and you search for six as the number, not S-I-X, but six, uh, you should find two, two files or two videos that will um, tell you what you need to know to know whether or not you have this, uh, either one of these annual or permanent formations. Now, residences can also have permanent pearl or parent string formations in their purple white chart. And if they do, you don't need to worry about the stars in the purple white chart either, because it also makes things, makes all the stars timely for all periods. So if you have a residence that has both of these, you only have to worry about the annual and monthly stars when it comes to stars. Now, you also want to look at the presence of Sha Chi in the sector where the one of those nobles are and with untimely stars. And of course, depends on what you have, 
how many charts you have to look at. The location of the death door in, the re in your residence's Qimin Feng Shui chart is only really important for the Fortune Virtue Noble subsector. And that's because the death door can actually help you solve problems. It can get rid of problems. Um, Sometimes it's in a, in, in a rather painful way, but if it's a serious problem, it, it can work. So really it's only a problem when it comes to celebration. You don't really want the death door there. Now in general, you activate a Dragon Virtue Noble by either water or fire activation, and which you choose will depend on the subsector involved, and that will depend on the year. This year, it, the, this uh, Dragon Virtue is in the Northwest Three, which is the pig subsector. Water is a better activation as the pig is a water animal. So uh, you don't want to use fire, because fire will weaken the pig because the water in the pig will try to control the fire and it'll weaken the pig. It'll weaken the fire too. The best thing is moving water because that keeps mosquitoes from breeding, but a fish can also perform this action. And unless you're in a very big house, a medium to large size fish bowl one that you can pick up and move pretty easily, that's good enough because you're only activating a subsector. So uh, you don't necessarily need an aquarium, but it doesn't hurt to have an aquarium. Now you can have clashes with the Dragon Virtue Hour, and you may also have it with the day, but I'm going to concentrate on the hour first. And the it depends on what you are uh, having a problem with, whether or not you can use that day. If the clash with the Dragon Virtue Hour is with your year animal, avoidance is good. Um, you can choose a different day within the month, and every month has at least two of these Dragon Virtue days. Some have three, so uh, you do have a choice. If the clash of the Dragon Virtue Hour is with your month animal, you should avoid that particular day uh, because the day will have a different hour. Uh, because uh, if your problem is either with business or work related, if it's health or, or relationship related, you can still use that hour because the month doesn't affect those. If the clash is with your day animal, it, you should avoid it if the problem is with your spouse. And this could be a relationship with your spouse or even your spouse's health. And if it's with the, uh, the clashes with your hour animal, again, you would avoid it if the problem is with your kids or with your ideas or your investments. Uh, and so when I'm talking about ideas, let's say you are actually trying to create a new product. And you keep coming up with all kinds of problems. Sometimes you have to go back and rethink the whole plan for the product. And that can solve everything. And that's what might happen here. But again, you don't want to have a clash with your hour animal. Now, year clashes with the days, the, with the, the, the Dragon Virtue days animal, you have to use a different month because for a given month, every day will have the same animal sign. The hour animal will change though. So if you're going to use this, you need to place a container of water in the Northwest three subsector of your residence on one of these dates and these dates are good for the tiger month. So if you, have a if you have a clash with the tiger, that is if you have a monkey, you cannot use this month. Now, if you have a tiger, you, you can use the month, but you won't be able to use this day. This is the clash animal. If you have this in your animal, in your batsa, 
you clash with this particular hour. The monkey will clash with a particular month. Have to keep that straight. Um, but February 11th of 2024 is a, a good date during these hours. That's 3 to 5 p.m. But if you have a tiger in a relevant sector, a relevant uh, pillar, then you would you want to use the dog day. And if you have the dog, you would want to use the tiger day. Of course, which pillar is important depends on what your issue is. So February 23rd is the other day. Both of these days have the day officer of balance. And in this sector, we have the monthly stars and annual and monthly stars, annual first, then monthly of four and six. This is fantastic. This is a, a really good sector for finances. It, you know, it really can help your financial problems if you don't have a clash in the hour. Now, the balance day is not necessarily the best day for solving problems because things tend to be fairly stable. But that may mean that the, the solution isn't, um, uh, isn't dramatic. It, it's something that's pretty easy to handle. Uh, actually, I would say that the worst day, and this may seem counterintuitive, would be an open day because then you're opening up new problems. So uh, it, it is a little weird, but I think it works that way. Now, if you have a clash animal for one of these days, just use the other. And, a, and I went over, you know, it depends on where the clash is and what, you, um, what your problem is. So when we come to the fortune virtue, um, you again, you can use either, but it does depend on which subsectors involved, which is the best one to use. This year, the fortune virtue is in Northeast one, which is the ox subsector. And here, fire is a better activation as the ox is an earth animal. So fire actually strengthens earth. It creates earth. So that strengthens the ox. So I would use fire activation. In general, the way to do it is to light a 10 minute candle. And they do have these tiny little candles. They're called 10 minute candles. Uh, and they have their own little stand. Now that stand will get very hot. So make sure they're sitting on a fireproof surface, like a ceramic plate or something like that. You can also turn on a salt lamp after you've lit the candle, but it's not necessary. The salt lamp would stay on, but it's optional. The candle is the mandatory thing, and it's the candle really that does the activation. You don't need the salt lamp, but if you like to have it on, it's also okay. One thing is do not leave a burning candle unattended. It's a really good way to burn down your house. So, uh, you know, if you have to leave before the 10 minute candle goes out on its own, just blow out the candle. So again, we use that 10 minute candle in the Northeast one subsector of your residence in this tiger month. And these are the times and dates, February 13th at seven to almost nine in the morning. If you have a dog in your year, you want to use the dragon because you'll have the dragon in your year. Uh, but it depends on where, what your problem is, which one you might have to avoid. The other day is February 25th. This is from seven to almost nine. Uh, PM and the day officer is the initiate day and we have a, a six and an eight as the annual and monthly stars. Now this is also very good. Eight isn't as good as it was in period eight, but eight is never like really negative. So this is also good for finances. Um, but of course this is a celebration. So you will feel better about your finances because you will realize you aren't as bad off as you might have thought. Now, it's good for celebration, provided that whoever 
if, if it's about a person, that that person and yourself are not clashing with the day, or with the hour, I should say, and the day too. Now, if your residence has a death door in the Northeast, in your houses or your places, uh, Qi Min Feng Shui chart, it's actually best not to use this location for celebration because the death door means the end of something. And so uh, that, that just is not very coherent with celebration. So unfortunately, that might mean that you can't use this, this particular uh, one of the Four Nobles this particular year because its location will not change. Now, there are a couple other uh, noble subsectors out there, and in the following months, I will include them in the monthly videos, but I need to be certain I have the correct information before I do the posting. I'm still working on this. It's, um, uh, some of these things are a little hard to find, uh, the, the information of what I need. I have some of it, like for example, the stuff in Chinese, that is, kind of fixed. The question becomes, how do I know what sector a given year has for some of these other uh, noble uh, formations in your house? Now, a lot of these also have, have uh, similar things in your Batsa um, uh, or in your Ziwei Doshu. Uh, they are all kind of related. But the rules for a house are very specific. And there are hundreds of stars in the Batsa and uh, the Ziwei Doshu. But there's only a handful for your house. So that's it. I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some comments because this is pretty new. And uh, you're welcome to leave a comment or email me here if you have questions. Uh, I do have, um, uh, except for the flying star chart, which you can get so many different places, I have charts for the purple white and the Qi Min charts. The purple white is for everything. Um, the Qi Min charts are from period six through period nine right now. Uh, there aren't that many earlier houses because once you replace the roof, you tend to change the period of the house. So, uh, but they're available here on my PayHip store. Thank you again for watching.